how deep down the rabbit hole should one go to escape from technological slavery? Have become increasingly turned off from payment processors and am concerned all of the FBI spyware stuff apparently built into 90% of the commercial software people use. Currently using Windows 10, Android, Cash App, PayPal. FBI spyware is on hardware level there's nothing you can do. Don't go down it you can't avoid it. Ignorance is bliss. You can always buy from purism. Those guys are doing their best and even have Linux phones which can function as a phone if you can tolerate the endless bugs and compromises. Silver lining is it's always improving but will never catch up to Android or iOS. Live in a shed in the woods and start writing manifestos. Free desktop including Linux, most BSD is tamed and owned slash primarily developed by Microsoft. Check out Haiku OS. Every single digital device is backdoored at the chipset. You might not know it, but inside your Intel system you have an operating system running in addition to your main OS that's raising eyebrows called Minix. Mininix is running on Ring negative 3 on its own CPU. CPU that you the user slash owner of the machine have no access to. The lowest ring you have any real access to is Ring 0 which is where the kernel of your OS, the one that you actually chose to use such as Linux, resides. Most user applications take place in Ring 3 without the negative. Ring 0 is Linux and because we ran out of ring numbers hypervisors like Xen are ring negative 1 but below that are rings that are running code that you don't have access to sometimes on processors you don't even know are part of the system. Ring negative 2 has a kernel and a half kernel consists of UFI which is the full kernel and system management node, SMM, which traps to 8086 16-bit mode thus the half designation. Those control everything about the CPU and are invisible to the rings above. Every time you close the lid of your laptop or do certain other things, SMM traps to classic 8086 mode, that should make you happy he said sarcastically. There's no common code between the systems running in ring negative 2 and ring negative 3 as far as he knows but they both have a wide range of capabilities. Both have IP4 and IP6 networking stacks, file systems, drivers for various devices, disk, network, USB, and web servers. The me needs file systems because it can be used to re-image the system. In fact Minich said it can re-image the system even if the power is turned off as long as it's plugged into the wall and the network. Full control of all devices on processor level. It can even operate if computer, smartphone for example, is shut down. You should have processors made before 2008 to avoid it. G Newtard here. As long as you're on x86 you're not safe. You're backdoored at the firmware level with the Intel me slash AMD PSP sending the contents of your memory straight to the feds. You need a Libre boot ThinkPad if you need x86 or something entirely different where you can audit the firmware yourself. This info is known in the business from the beginning but it's memory hold. Your smartphone can transmit even if it's powered down. Your PC can make an image of your HDD and transmit as over the network even if it's shut down. There's no particular reason to believe Chinese or Taiwanese processes are in any way different. But truth be told with Windows 10 and 11 this isn't needed at all. This is used for specific cases. Windows 10 and D11 does this all the time. And this is in no way or form conspiracy theory. This is proven and known to people in the industry. But it's something rarely talked about for obvious reasons. We tried to warn people at the time but who would track us all the time? I'm not that important was an answer. After some time you just give up because you're that nutcase who's telling people that they are spying on them. Who would want to be in company of a paranoid person right? Or a person who doesn't have a Facebook? While everybody is sharing their info freely. Coreboot, Libre boot or a pre-2006 processor should solve most of that. Then it's down to the meat between the keyboard and the seat that's the issue. If you have had a Google account in the past you're already fucked. Point is you can't escape even if you remove yourself from all the electronics. You'll have to meet friends family work colleagues that'll have their smartphones with them which will still be used against you unless you literally go live under a rock you're effed. What is Libre Boot you silly head? Core Boot formerly known as Linux BIOS is a software project aimed at replacing proprietary firmware found in most computers with a lightweight firmware designed to perform only the minimum number of tasks necessary to load and run a modem 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. Problem is that's BIOS. Minix is operating system that works below BIOS level and independently of BIOS. It's independent OS running on one of the processors in the processor. Invisible processor to operating system and BIOS, but physically present on processor with its own OS. At the very least you need to be using a ThinkPad X220 with OpenBSD installed. Expect to spend 20 hours getting Wi-Fi to work. The great thing about open source software and operating systems is that while they have corporate backing you can easily remove any part you don't like or trust. You can use SuperGNU, free software and firmware only, no system, 
Harden distros to be 100% safe or you can use comfy Corpu stuff and trust it's not paused since source code is easily readable and reviewed. But this also means that all the computers in corporations can be remotely controlled every last one of them and of course military, CIA, NSA, everything. DoD has its own network but hardware processor is still Intel or AMD. Banks and even your own crypto keys. There's a possibility, high probability, there's a key logger somewhere in that independent OS. Everything that runs Intel or AMD and somebody has the keys. I'm not schizo enough to follow this thread. The real question is how much convenience are you willing to give up so you feel secure? How autistic are you ready to get? Unless there's a hidden modem in the CPU that sends data directly to communication towers there are no packets that are being sent from EMA slash PSP. The danger is if an attacker or Fed has physical access to the CPU. Even then we saw how the FBI and courts can't access encrypted computers. You'll have to be dealing with the NSA to worry about this stuff at which point you're screwed either way because those guys literally do black ops and don't face courts. They'll just suicide you if you don't give them your passwords. Bottom line, be schizo with certain practical limits. You have to leave it all behind to truly escape. Enough to make the data being mined on you not profitable except to hose that you want in jail. You unironically want to be on a watch list. It's entirely possible assuming you can find a platform that uses completely open source hardware. Can build bootloader from source. Video driver completely reverse engineered and open source. Can boot any flavor of Linux you want. All other drivers used is open source. Once you know your hardware platform is safe it's really just a matter of personal choice in what you do online. You're free to go down that rabbit hole I mean I believe it. I just oughtn't have the time or care in this life. You only live once is literally haha YOLO. Some people boot Tails OS from a flash drive. Tails forces all internet connections through the Tor network and is all open source. I've heard people use their hot devices to look as normy as possible but use Tails for debrowsing. Wanix is also a worth contender. You can't have both your modern conveniences and not be subject to technological means of control. I love how everyone worries about their future, I wish I had that same feeling or even had some motivation, the most I do in the day is just watch Sora's char. I feel so effing dead I can't even get depressed. If you want to avoid surveillance then don't use smartphones and computers. If you want to cover 95% of your bases then run Linux, get Graphene OS, use Monero, stop using Google, use a password manager, harden Firefox, get into self-hosting. My advice is take it slow and realize while there's truth to the schizo stuff in here it's not practical depending on your use case. You sound like a normie so if you spend a few months working on your op second you'll be well above the herd. If it uses electricity it could be listening but it's not something to worry about to the level of going fully schizoid Kaczynski cabin unless you're trying to protect intellectual property that has to be stored in a digital format or you're doing some Kaczynski kind of stuff. Not using the same password for everything. Using a good antivirus software, not clicking random links and not having social media puts you ahead of the majority of people in terms of cybersecurity by such an extent that it's laughable. In fact I would say just giving a shit about being safe on a device almost makes you as safe as doing all of the above or even more, there are literally billions of easier targets to hit just by someone giving a single fuck about this one time. Did Vault 7 leaks get memory hold or something? There's no such thing as op second, all hardware is compromised.